over to the Ubo Food Walking Street. This is actually about 20 minute drive up north from Manila. A few people have recommended me to come to the Ubo Walking Street if I wanted really local Filipino food. So let's go in and see what this food tree is about. Pretty much it's just a strip of food stand and I don't even know what to try but I'm very hungry. So far I will say is that aside from Filipino food there's a lot of different cultural foods too like I've seen a Korean sand, I've seen a Turkish sand. Hello! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> um, so there's a lot of different types of foods over here. I don't even know what to even stop and try first. Excuse me, where can I order? Okay. Okay. Uh, I have a question. What is Kamto? That is the menu. You can see the What is Kamto? Kamto? No? Sir, ano daw yung Kamto dyan? Hindi ko rin alam eh. Inner uh, in part inner of part? the pig. This one right here, what is this? It's Chon Kavali. Chon Kavali? Lechon? Can I get an order of the lechon? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, madam. Hi. Lechon with the rice, like dine in, take out. Uh, dine in, please. Dine, dine in, in yes. Yeah. I decided to come to this stand because it looked the most, most local, and the chef. I feel like she has been doing this for a while and I trust her. Here, you actually have to come and write down your order and your name and hand it in. So I guess there is a, a wait or a longer line um, and this might be a popular spot that maybe it's a good choice for me to come and first eat. So I'm excited to try this out. I got the lechon. I haven't really heard of any of these meats before but um, just by the looks of it and I just have to point out to the meats and the people working here tell me how. The chef looks like the boss and I can already tell that a lot of people here are waiting for her order so I feel like people here trust her food and the food must be really good so good choice <laughs> so while I wait for my food honestly if you're planning on coming here to the Uzo food walking tree I don't recommend you trying to take public transportation or walking here um, I highly advise you taking at least a bike or a taxi the area is not the most developed to be honest and it's pretty deep within Manila. I don't even know if this walking tree is actually considered to be in Manila anymore. So um, I will say I'm probably the only foreigner over here and people are giving me weird looks. I think just because a lot of people are saying I look Filipina but
Salamanteau, I think. Thank you. So in total, I waited about 20 to 25 minutes for my food order. And actually, the people in front of me, they had orders of like 10. So this is a very popping spot. I'm very glad that I decided to come here and have this spot as my first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Gummy soup. If you're curious, the name of this sand is called lechonin edith. I'm glad I got the lechon because I wasn't sure what to get initially. But the price of this, the lechon itself, is 115 Philippine pesos and the fried rice is 15 Philippine pesos. So in total, the 130 Philippine pesos is equivalent to $2.38. So I do hope that this was worth the wait. And I have a feeling it will be. Thank you. Okay, so officially I got my lechon. I'm gonna try it first without any seasonings or sauces. Mm. Wow. The inside of the meat is really soft. The outside is super crunchy. Mm. It's so good. Oh my god. Worth the wait. Mm. The one thing here I've realized is that rice is super prominent here in the Philippines and there's a lot of flavor to rices. This one has quite um a flavor for taste. I think it's like salted or something. It's really good. You know, I've been watching her hot and served food for the last 20 minutes and honestly, she has like a particular style. Even when she picks out the meats, she picks out specific meats and puts them in specific orders. Like she won't just take like a bunch of meat and just put it all together. She like picks and chooses the meats. So intricate. Oh my gosh. I could watch her all day. But she kind of reminds me of the J5 of Manila. Really. Just like her style and how every I feel like everyone just kind of respects her here. And the way she cooks and serves the food. It's like everyone here is to help her out. So I just squeezed my lime on my dish. The one thing here also, I love how lime is everywhere. Back in America, a lot of people use lemons. And actually, I haven't really had lemons here. I've had a lot more lime in Southeast Asia. So, I like it. I did ask for some chili, but I don't think she knows how much I love my chili. Give me four little pieces, that's probably good for like one bite. <laughs> okay. I'm honestly kind of full from that meal, but I definitely want to try out one or two more things here before I leave. <laughs> okay, well they have a little bit of shopping out here. They are selling some shoes, 
It's a lot of smaller snacks and desserts. Oh, I came across the empanada stand. These look so good. I think I'm gonna get one. Wow, there's like egg, double egg, eggless. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna get one. Hello. Can I get the double longanisa solo? Double longanisa. Solo? Buy one, take one. Just, uh, only one. Yes, just only one. Thank you. This looks so good. <laughs> It looks so good. Oh my god. Japan. Korean. 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 Take a long. Wait, long, long, ah, make a long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We go on here, nice. We go on here, nice. Total one to pick my So this double long gun is costing me 89 pesos. Wow, this looks so delicious. So since there were no seating area, I just came over to this bench. There's actually a basketball court right behind me for a spite. Oh my god, I'm super excited to eat this. This is a really big empanada and it's hot. Cheap. It's probably delicious inside. I literally will just wash them and cook this from scratch. Mm. I think I'll have to wait a little bit. Overall, this is Ugbo Food Walking Street. And if you're here visiting Manila, I do recommend that you come here with a friend or a partner or a local who knows the area well. I will say I am probably the only foreigner here and I've walked up and down the street like two times and yeah, I've been the only foreigner here. Again, this is pretty deep in Manila. I don't even know if this is the Manila district, but it's about 20 minutes north of Manila. The food here has been really freaking amazing so far. The empanada, the rice dish with the lechon, and there are so many other foods here too. I've seen taiyaki, Japanese food, even Korean food, a lot of different types of food, and of course your Filipino food. Come with an empty stomach and just know that when you're here there will be a lot of kids here asking you for money there are a lot of families here so hence why there's a lot of kids out here but use your own discretion if you want to give to the kids or not but hey! 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 thanks for watching this video I hope you guys like this and till the next video a safe and happy travel I want money.